Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an ophthalmologist practicing at the National University Hospital in Singapore. In this video, I'm going to answer some commonly asked questions about the diagnosis of dry eye disease. Well, I notice that my eyes get really dry when I'm working in my office, which is air-conditioned. Is there really a need for me to see an eye doctor just for dry eyes? Dry eye disease is a complex condition with different subtypes. If symptoms are mild and infrequent, a trial of over-the-counter lubricant eye drops may suffice. However, if severe cases are left untreated, this may result in permanent vision loss. If you are bothered by eye symptoms and have concerns that these may be due to dry eye disease, it might be worthwhile to seek evaluation with your eye doctor, who will perform a thorough assessment of your condition, its subtype and contributing factors in order to prescribe treatment that is appropriate for you. So for the next question, what's going to happen during my consultation with the eye doctor? This is how a typical consultation goes. First, your eye doctor will take a thorough history of your condition and this may include the use of questionnaires to better understand your condition. Next, your eye doctor will perform an examination which typically includes the use of a specially designed microscope known as a slit lamp. Your eye doctor may recommend further clinical tests to accurately diagnose dry eye disease and its subtype, exclude other conditions that may mimic the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease, and identify other accompanying conditions that may be worsening your existing condition. These tests may also be useful to guide the formulation of your individualized treatment plan. So these tests include the Schirmer's test, where filter paper strips are placed between the inside of your lower eyelids and the eye to quantify the amount of tears produced. To further estimate the tear volume, your doctor may perform photographic analysis of the front surface of the eyes to measure your tear meniscus height. Video analysis of the tear film can also be performed to evaluate its stability and how quickly your tears evaporate. Another test typically performed is meibography, which is used to assess the structures of the meibomian glands responsible for producing the oily component of your tear film. You may also undergo corneal epithelial mapping, where a specialized machine is used to measure the thickness of the epithelial layer of the cornea to assist in the diagnosis and monitoring of dry eye disease. Your doctor will evaluate the outcomes of these tests and advise you on the most appropriate treatment tailored to your condition. We hope this video helps you to better understand the diagnosis of dry eye disease. Please visit the NUH website or click on our other video links below to learn more about the condition. Thank you and goodbye.